The learning objectives of this section are to familiarise all personnel involved in tank atmosphere control with how to maintain the portable measuring equipment, how to store the portable measuring equipment. Routine testing of the portable measuring equipment. When not in use for long periods of time, remove the batteries. Maintenance of the analyzer should only be carried out by qualified personnel who are familiar with good workshop practice. Replacement parts should be to the quality specified by Servomex in the part lists. The use of inferior replacement components may degrade the performance of the analyzer and invalidate any certificates which may apply. If there are any doubts about the analyzer or its equipment, Contact the manufacturer or any of the manufacturer's agents. Establish good test routines for the oxygen analyzer when not in use. For example, test weekly. Follow the company policy regarding maintenance and testing. Always record the testing. Remove the batteries when not in use for long periods of time. To replace the light bulb, follow the indicator's instruction book. Establish good test routines for the indicator when not in use, for example, weekly. Follow the company policy regarding maintenance and testing. Record the testing. Remove the batteries when not in use for long periods of time. Element replacement. The element assembly consisting of an active filament and a similar but enclosed reference filament should be replaced if zero cannot be set within range of zero adjustment or if the reading cannot be set high enough on a calibration gas using a calibration potentiometer. Follow the instruction book. Establish good test routines for the indicator when not in use. For example, test weekly. Follow the company policy regarding maintenance and testing. Record the testing. To clean or replace the exhaust valve. 1. Unscrew the bolt by using the hexagon screwdriver supplied. 2. Lift off lower pump plate, for example, by using a coin. 
Pull valve disc from seating. Wipe valve seating with a damp cloth. Moisten the stem of a new valve disc and push it firmly into the centre hole of the valve seat. Check correct seating by pulling on valve disc lightly. Put back lower pump plate and press it into place. Insert bolt again and screw down hand tight. Perform the leak test as described in section 3, indicator preparation. Establish good test routines for the indicator when not in use. For example, test weekly. Follow the company policy regarding maintenance and testing. Record the testing. There is no special maintenance for the detector tubes. Follow each test tube's instructions. Pay attention to the expiry date printed on the tube's storage container. Make it a rule always to purge the hose by pumping clean air through it after use. Blow the measuring hoses with compressed air from time to time to remove water droplets and dust. As the sampling lines and pumps are of vital importance, they must be carefully maintained and tested strictly in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions. Cotton filters with either catalytic or non-catalytic filament types are normally used in hydrocarbon gas filters. Additional filters are not normally needed. Materials for this purpose are granular anhydrous calcium chloride or sulphate. If required, soda asbestos selectively retains hydrogen sulphide without affecting the hydrocarbons. The use of water retaining filters are essential when using the oxygen analyzer especially the analyzers based on the paramagnetic principle. Store all the portable indicators in a dry place. Avoid damage of the equipment by protecting it from friction preventing undesirable movements, etc. Store the batteries in a cool place, for instance in a refrigerator.